The Jefferson Blue Jays have never shied away from a challenge. Even on the football field, battling injuries and inexperience, the Blue Jays rallied from an up-and-down start in 2019 to win back-to-back -back games in October and get their record to 5-3, guaranteeing a 500 finish. But now the challenge is to become a consistent team, and one that can play with expectations. Jefferson only loses four seniors and three starters from last year's roster, meaning the Jays are experienced on top of battle-tested. Head coach Alex Rugley says, especially in this unique offseason, he's happy to have a tight-knit group. Whenever the kids are around each other and they're able to develop those relationships and those quality relationships, you know, our kids, they hang out with each other uh, outside of this football field as well. So they're extremely close. They're a tight-knit group. Our seniors uh, are extremely tight-knit. This is one of our bigger senior classes we've had since I've been at Jefferson with about 13 kids. Uh, so, yeah, that's an exciting time for these guys. You know, we, 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 didn't lo we, we lost three quality, quality players from last year and, uh, and, and three seniors. But, you know, when you return... 95% of your team from the last football season, and they're able to develop those skills uh, uh, on Friday nights instead of Monday nights and play and understand the speed of the game and the fastness of the game. It's, a, it's, it's a extremely important, and they learn to play with each other. You know, and We're going to continue to learn to play with each other and hopefully continue to get better and improve off of that. While much is the same for the Blue Jays, there is still a question of who will be the starting quarterback. Juniors Colton Richardson and Drew Brees both started games last season and had their moments to shine. But Rugley says it's a good problem to have. You know, anytime you can have competition in anything that you do, it brings out the best in kids and uh, in people in general. So, uh, you know, Colton was playing his best football whenever he got hurt in, in the middle of the third quarter against Valley Catholic last year. Um, and then Drew came in and uh, played some really good football, you know, for the last four or five weeks there. Uh, of the season. So uh, to be able to have the competition that we're able to have at the quarterback spot and for them to be seasoned, each one of them are seasoned. You know, they were sophomores last year and got thrown in the fire real fast, but they got better week in and week out. And you saw that with Colton and you saw that with Drew. So uh, I'll tell you this, if, if we only can only have one quarterback on the football field, but I can guarantee you that the other one, whoever's not a quarterback is going to be on the offensive side of the football one way or another. Whoever takes the snaps will have plenty of weapons to work with. Five of the top seven rushers are back for the Blue Jays, including senior Dylan Schnitzler, who had a team-high nine rushing touchdowns last season. He echoed the sentiment that continuity matters. We're all kind of like a lot of returners this year, so we're going to be much stronger. We've been in the weight room a whole other year. A lot more chemistry now. We only had like three seniors, four seniors last year, so all of us are coming back, and it's going to help that a lot, I think. Perhaps the most dynamic weapon for the Jefferson offense is senior Colby Ott, who piled up over 560 total yards from scrimmage and scored six TDs in 2019 on his way to making the regional radio dream team. The multi-talented athlete says he wants to be an X-factor on offense. The coach told us, the whole team and me, that we had a better chance of winning when we get our ball players the ball. So we drew up a lot of different personnel packages to get athletes the ball. Ott is one of many gifted athletes, which make the Blue Jays a potential great defensive team as well. He's picked off 10 passes over the last two years on his way to all-conference and all-state status as a defensive back. Rugley says when you add veteran understanding, you get a Swiss Army knife of personnel on defense. We're blessed with depth. You know, last year we had a, like we said, a small, small senior class, very small senior class. And then, you know, our, our junior class, who are now seniors, was pretty big. But then we kind of dropped off from a physical standpoint and being that we had a lot of young kids that had to step up. Those kids have now grown. They physically matured, they mentally matured. So it brings us back to, in my opinion, a scenario of two years ago where we had a, you know, a really tough senior class, really good senior class, and then we had classes stacked up behind them that were physically mature and ready to play on Friday nights. So I think that that's a, a great point. I think that the versatility that we're gonna have on defense is gonna be huge. Uh, we have kids you know, two deep right now on the, the I believe that can play Friday nights and in a couple positions, three deep. But the heart and soul of the D is Dream Team linebacker Dawson Jakobek. His 123 tackles also helped him join Ott on third team All-State, and he says he knows how to be even better as a senior. Penalties was the main one last year, but honestly, last year we were kind of really young. I hope like the experience at the varsity level was really going to help us improve getting wins this year and make it like farther in districts and stuff. It's really nice, honestly, having people battle for spots this year, not just like you're given the spot because we don't have anyone else. There is no doubt that the road ahead is tough. Reigning I-55 Conference champion Valley Catholic also won a state title in Class 1 last year, 
and Crosstown rival St. Pius won nine games in 2019. But few teams are as deep and have been around the block like the 2020 Blue Jays. Rugley says he sees a potential champion. I've been fortunate enough to be around some really good football teams and coach on some really good football teams and uh, to coach on some not so good football teams. And uh, you can see it with the way that we do things, the way that the kids are going about their business, that uh, this is a good group. This is a quality group. You know, uh, I think that they uh, were not all right with being average last year, especially with the year that they had prior to that, winning, you know, our, our most uh, games that we've ever won in our school's history. So, uh, you know, I, I tell them all the time, don't ever settle being average. Always always strive to be your best and try to be, strive to be above average. And, and uh, I believe that with the efforts that they gave multiple times last year against some really good football programs, um, that we were just, we were real close, but we didn't get there. So, uh, yeah, the next goal is obviously to compete for a, a conference championship championship and to compete for a district championship and then see what goes from there. You know. So once they kick off the season August 28th against Fredericktown, the Jefferson Blue Jays plan on soaring high. Reporting for Regional Radio Sports, I'm Nathan Gertz.